Hey, hey, it's Smoothie Tuesday and we've got that milkshake series coming up. Let's pull the wheel and see what we're doing today. Ah, chocolate. Who doesn't love a chocolate milkshake? But I don't like all that cocoa and flavor. I want mine to taste just like it would have done back in the 50s. Let's get on and make this wonderful chocolate milkshake. Okay, to start our chocolate milkshake, I want to warm one cup of full cream milk in a small saucepan. Now it's one cup of milk per milkshake. So if you want to increase the numbers, double or triple what I'm doing now. So in order to get a really great chocolate milkshake, I'm using real chocolate. I've got about 100 grams, that's about three ounces, of whatever chocolate you like, just your favorite chocolate. And we're just adding that into the milk while it's on a low heat, and that's gonna allow the chocolate to milk, and we're making really a wonderful chocolate milk here. Now you don't wanna have your heat too high, because then the milk will boil over, but we want to continue to heat this for two or three minutes. So when you turn the milk to the side there and you can't see any more chocolate solids in there, that means the chocolate's completely incorporated into the milk. You can take that off the heat now and I'm gonna leave that to cool down. Actually, I'm gonna put that in the fridge and let it chill right down. This, by the way, would make a wonderful hot chocolate as it is. Now, when you look at that, that's been in there a couple of hours and it's beautiful and chilled. And that is the chocolate milk that we're gonna be using for our milkshake. So I'm gonna pour that cup of chocolate milk into my blender and one scoop of a good quality vanilla ice cream. Then we're gonna pop the lid on the blender and I'm gonna blend that up for a good two minutes to get lots of bubbles into it. And there you have it guys. There is my beautiful real chocolate, chocolate milkshake. So we'll put that in there now. It's a lovely thick shake. I'm just drawing the bubbles up to the top again. I'm stopping about an inch or so from the top of the glass. And I'm gonna be very decadent and put some Dream Whip on the top of this as well. Just squirt some in there. Oh. Oh, keep him stood upright. And then I'm gonna grate some fresh chocolate on there just so that if I was serving this to someone, they'd know it was made with real chocolate. But because it's me that's having this, I'm gonna try it for you now. Whoa, look at that. You haven't had chocolate milkshake till you've had Steve's Kitchen chocolate milkshake. Let's give this a try. Oh. That is delicious. That is not just cocoa and milk. That is a wonderful, rich, creamy chocolate milkshake. Fantastic. Thank you for joining me, guys. I hope you give this one a try. As always, comments down below. And don't forget, subscribe, because next week we'll be spinning the wheel for another Steve's Kitchen milkshake. Be good. Cheers to you guys. Thanks for joining me again. As always, subscription button's up there and comments to me down below. I always try to reply to all my comments. And there's a couple of links here to some other videos. It's been a great time. Take care, be good. See you in the next video.